I spent a lot of time with Nena trying to figure out how much movement I could put into it mm. and how much I couldn't, mm. you know, because mm. I I knew that it wasn't supposed to look like a dance, but yet it was also the one that could be a dance, yeah, you know, right, and so right, right. I found like a lot of times I was very confused. My friend, my partner in crime, the lovely Gillian Rhodes, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week. Yeah. We'll talk about Kamli, yes. our journey with Kamli, but before that, I'm sure a lot of people... Now, you're a, you're a star. You're a Pakistani star, I feel. You're, you're <laughs> a halfway. Like, a halfway. Everybody yeah. knows you, right? <laughs> uh, but who is Gillian? Why is she here? Like, I mean, uh, some people also have a conspiracy theory. She's not a spy. I, I know like, that's I don't everyone. know. I was like, I don't know. Like, I know her quite well, but well, we'll find out <laughs> in time. <laughs> now I can tell you, of course I am. <laughs> so, Gillian, yeah. I mean, um, you grew up in the US I of did. A. <laughs> yes, I did. And the US uh, of A. Um, who is Gillian is a good question. I find that out every two or three years, it changes. Yeah, and yeah. I keep. I'm just still trying to find it out, but at the I think basically at the at the heart of it, Jillian is a dancer. Is a I dancer. started dancing when I was five. Um, ballet, basically. Ballet. Yeah, classical and like, ballet. Like you were trained in it. Yes. Like you yes. took classes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, yes. I right, trained right. really intensively, actually. Mm. I I quit at a certain point because I was training so hard that mm. I burnt out. And ballet is yeah. like yeah. It's, it's it's a burnout. I mean, yeah. So and I was eleven. Later, that, like, I burned out at 11, right? But then, so I, I went, you know, I actually experimented with circus for a while, and then, but I missed dancing. Mm. And so I decided to study it in university. Right. And then... And this is still in... In, in, the, US, in the US, yeah. So right. I, I went to Columbia, mm. um, and I majored in dance, and I just, I basically, I came back to it, and the more I did it, the more I wanted to do it. Mm. And... Um, those four years of being in school were just kind of figuring out what I could do, what I couldn't mm. do. And mm. then it was like, okay, if, if this is what I'm going to do, mm. how? Right. Because it's right. not an easiest profession to go into. Um, what was this calling um, from the East side <laughs> of the world? Like, because I know a little bit about your um, work and your stay in Korea, mm -hmm. South Korea, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, straight from Korea to Pakistan, or did you yeah, but before more? Korea, I went to Cambodia. Cambodia. So basically, I had a flatmate in in Colombia who is Cambodian, and right. she was always sharing about her country, and, mm. and she was always like, "Come, come, come! You have to experience." Mm. And as soon as I graduated, I thought, you know, if there's any a time in my life where I can just up and go across the world, this is right. it. Um, and so I went to Cambodia. To to do some workshops there, basically. Okay. And I meant to be there for a few months. Mm. But um, I think four months in, I got a job offer from a television network to choreograph backup dancers for their live concerts. In Cambodia? In Cambodia. Ah. Yeah, and I just, I think I was 22 at the time. And mm. I was just like, where else could I do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no, you know, like, I wouldn't get these opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I just stayed um, and I kept working there. I was there for three years. Mm. Originally, eventually I left because I didn't have the, I wasn't growing anymore mm. as an artist. Um, it broke my heart into pieces, but I, I left and then I went to South Korea to get better. Um, and I danced for a company there for two and a half years. Trained. And was it K-pop dancing? No, 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 contemporary. <laughs> contemporary. <laughs> because everything Korean is yeah. now either their spectacular cinema or K-pop. Yeah, like, I mean, no, it's a it's phenomenon. Really, it has really become like the new whatever, it's a like, you know, the center of yeah. cultural yeah. exports to the world. Yeah, but they do actually have very, very strong uh, classical ballet and okay. very strong contemporary. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I think I was the only foreigner that I knew of mm. in the contemporary scene. There were okay. some others in ballet, but mostly it was... And then, when yeah. did we come to Pakistan? Uh, I came to Pakistan for the first time in 2017. 
I was, a good five years ago. Yeah, so I was invited basically to speak at a conference in Islamabad. Okay. Um, On and dance and movement? It was, uh, the panel name was Art, uh, Art Without Boundaries, Art okay. Beyond Boundaries, okay. something like this. So yeah. like general sort of... General uh, art. Um, and I was on a panel with Shima Kamani and right, um, Pedro right. Lee, the truck artist. Right. right. I didn't understand half of what was going on, but I understood that it was significant right. to sit there right. with these people. But two things that fascinated you the most, and I mean, you've been... I mean, you did go back for a bit? I did, yeah, yeah. I went back to Korea for about a year, right, and then I came back. Right, right. So the year, I came back in 2018, and in my head, it was the beginning of a year of traveling. Mm. Um, but a few things happened. Basically, I came here, and I just got busy. Mm. You know, I just started working. I was, you know, I had workshops all over the place, and I was also poor. I was like less. An American <laughs> saying that does not ring to right, but I I'm mean. a dancer. Sorry, <laughs> you know. know, no, but there. Are, I don't think there is any country in the world where dancers are. You are the people you know. with the dollars. We are the people with the rupee. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, jokes aside. Oh, yeah. So, two things that fascinated you the most about Pakistan, and you just stayed with us, and we are just fortunate and lucky that you did. I think I just there would have I was. I think it was at the right time. So Korea was very good for me professionally, mm -hmm. but it was very difficult personally. Okay. Just because it was hard to live. It was, right. I didn't really have a community. I didn't have right, good friends. Right, right. And so I came here and there was such warmth mm -hmm. and welcome, you know. And, and heat. And, <laughs> yes, but warm, but people, you know, welcome. And I was getting fed and hosted and just, mm -hmm. I felt so supported, right, you know, right, that it right. was something that really attracted me. Did you receive food and people? <laughs> yeah, food and people. Yeah, but also, but also the work. Like I came here at the moment where the performing arts were really starting right. to take hold, right. and right. there was interest in what I was doing. Right. Yeah, the last five years have been very interesting, and yeah. um, I mean, and it's so heartwarming to see that it's not just all corporate. Like it's yeah. you know just bunch of passionate young yeah. people, new people, just yeah. doing things. You know, yeah. and Lahore. I mean, I'm really happy and proud of the fact that, you know, say we have these dance groups, these troupes, mm, these yeah. dance circles, and you know, like people yeah. are just doing stuff with movement and music. And yeah, you know, I started working, basically at the very beginning, I started working with this cultural dance company. It's head by um, someone named uh, Muhammad Fayaz, okay. and he's been working for almost 20 years. He's been okay. really struggling, but his group now is really, you know, they went to Dubai last year, but okay. they do folk. And so I originally came in, I don't remember why, maybe to do like Norwegian folk with Emma mm. Jobihe. And then, but I saw them practicing Bhangra. Mm. And I was so attracted to the energy right, and the beat. Right. And the I big was moves. Like, yeah, and I was just like, well, I need to learn that, you know. And so actually, kind of my start in Pakistan as a dancer was dancing Bhangra with them. You started with Bhangra. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> fast forwarding to uh, Kaval, my sister, and yes. the producer of the film, she tells me that she has this amazing new find. She's like, we just met this girl and she conducted a workshop and then she performed at her little space all over if you're sitting right now. Mm. And she said um, she understands movement and not just dance. So, uh, and I was looking for a choreographer for the, for the film. And her journey began. And yes. What a wonderful journey. Now, yeah. your take that you are asked to choreograph for a film, for a Pakistani film. Um, what were your initial instant reactions or... See, but I think the thing is, is I, I make it a habit of saying yes to things. <laughs> that is a good thing. I don't know, it's better than saying no. Yeah, you and know, it's like the impro theater improvisation, yes and, you right, know. Right. But there are people, I think, I do, I do feel that there are two kinds of people, I mean, who can instantly say yes, <laughs> yeah. or who would just instantly say no, yeah. and they come back to a yes sometimes. Yeah, it was, I think for me it was like, well, I don't know how I'm going to do it, mm. and I don't really know how it's going to work, but mm. I'm in interested in the opportunity mm. you mm. know and then from there it's it, as with most things it's just like let's just figure out how right right yeah. and you you were coming from a live performance background mostly yeah. right yes, yes, yes and yes, I yes. also believe firmly that you know there's no replacement there's no substitute nothing matches yeah a live art no, right you know or a yeah. live art experience for the audience also so this is recorded this yeah. is like 
stuff yeah. that will have to be broken into shots and pieces, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I have so much to tell about our collaboration, but I want to hear from you. So, now with all the, say, the keywords I gave you, okay, we will not make it look like Bollywood. We do not want to make it look like mainstream, mm -hmm. stereotypical kind of movement. Yeah. So now I give you six songs, five yeah. songs and a sequence. And a sequence, yeah. So yeah. the journey was like... What? So I think at the, at the beginning, um, and this was sometimes with you and sometimes with Fatima or Rasundus and Manu or the others, is that I, I just wanted to have as much information as I could, mm -hmm. you know, just pack it all in. Because I think from the first meeting you told me that the songs are stories and they have to take the story forward. Absolutely. So for me, I felt like if I know where the story is going and who these characters are, then I can figure it out, mm -hmm. you know. The, the tropes, you know, like you can play with those, but like if I know from here to here, this is where they need to go, the rest can be sorted. Figured out. You know, it was, I think, the. Uh, when I was watching, I kept thinking, like, how technical were these songs, you know? Like, they were site-specific, you know, I was choreographing for locations right. I hadn't seen, you know, they were elemental-based. I was just like, how right. did we do right. this? Right, right. <laughs> and camera. I mean, camera can become a big restriction, you know, because yeah. it's not just yeah. freestyle, free space, you know? But you I think know. all of the songs, though, for the most part, were choreographed in real time, you right. know? Like, they right. weren't right. cut... We didn't edit them in the sense yeah. that, like, the and now they're takes, here. Mostly long takes. Yeah, you know, so that I made them as... What, how, I can think in my mind, I was thinking the camera can do what the camera is doing and it can be edited in whatever way, but I want it to be able to run right. from right. start to finish, almost right. like a performance. And that's how you prepared it, you I know, remember. Like, like, it like, could be on stage. If yes, it, yes, you yes, know, you're right, you're right. You're if right. it needed to be, it could be on stage. You're right, you're right. Yeah. So, beginning with Pani. Mm. Now, I just went like, you know, you're... <laughs> as quick or as, you know, whatever detail you want it to be. So Pani, like, yes. so the movement in Pani, because Pani is hardly dance, but we know that all those beats were yes, yeah. written on paper. Mm -hmm. You made sure that those beats were followed and yeah. how we had to practice it, just imagining that they are underwater. And yeah, then they are... Yeah. But it was, it was basically, we started Pani from where she first sees the, the feather. The feather. Yeah. All the way until she leaves she runs at the end. Yeah. Everything in between was part of this the, yeah. sequence. You know, obviously the underwater stuff, the problem is that, <laughs> you know, there are things called the laws of physics and they don't <laughs> work the same way in the water as they do in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so I had to kind of imagine what it would be, you know, yeah. in the water. But yeah. of course, obviously, when you're yeah, Just that moment where... He holds her face in his mm. hands. I think yeah. it's everything. It defines yeah. the relationship from mm. that get go. You know yeah. that okay, he's not just saving her. Yeah, it's you know, and yeah. it's off. Like yeah. you know, like why would you not save someone? For, why would you, <laughs> but you know, there's that weird poetic um, distraction. Yeah. I feel. I mean, it was such a genius stroke um, invented by you, mm. and uh, it made all the difference. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember just being in the studio, you know, with mm. Hamza, like, pretending to swim. Swear, swear. And Saba pretending to drown. Oh, Saba pretending to drown, you know, like, <laughs> and, um, you know, but it was, it was so much about that sequencing, mm. you know, like, this part of the song is mm. until the fall, we, mm. we take this much time underwater, and then we have this much time, mm. you know, on the rock, and all of the details mm. from the ringing, mm. the dopata, you know, and, and him swimming back, and to swimming back it. to it, and then you know, how do you keep the bag the out of water <laughs> and keep swimming? You know? That part, <laughs> although we edited out because you know, the, the, and also with Pani, the biggest challenge was we were shooting it in slow mo. Mm. Bani is the only slow mo bit yeah. in the whole film. There's yeah. no other slow mo shot in the I whole film. I was trying to figure out when I watched it if any of the shots from the pond mm. made it. I know you guys went to a pool later. Now, honestly, I've lost track of what bits are from oh, where. Are we from even where? did like a whole day of a body double with uh, Fatima yeah. wearing the same clothes mm -hmm. because uh, it was. 
I mean, underwater, it's all this blind shooting. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know what we were doing. You know, yeah. Kavez would come back up. And yeah. Sabah, of course, you know, put in all the hard work of learning how to swim. But yeah. I still could not put her in a deep pond. Sure. So yeah. for the, we did go to the deepest of the ponds yeah. with Fatima yeah, I remember that. and uh, Hamza. Hamza is a swimmer, like a mm. trained, experienced swimmer. And so is Fatima. But now I've lost track of, you know, which part is who. But yeah. I know that there's no more body double bits anymore. They're not. They were there in the initial few cuts. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but, well, I think Pani really sets that tone, you know. Yeah. And uh, people who've watched it, they're really like, okay, like, that song is full of clues for you to tie all yeah. the loose ends yeah. in the end of the film. Yeah, you know? I think there was, the what I really enjoy about it is that they're just trying to choreograph the tension when they are standing. Mm. When, they, when they come out of out the water. Out of the water, yeah. And this... The un- discomfort, right. but also this attraction, you know. Yeah. I think the way that she takes mm. the dopata really mm. says that. It's like, yeah, you know, that... But yeah. Jillian, this is such a, I would say, a culturally unfair nuance because it does not translate into every culture, mm. right? But for you to understand that subtlety, like... I mean, it's it's a completely Eastern thing. Like, yeah. a, Tupatta is a very Eastern thing. Yeah. Secondly, that kind of, as we call it in Urdu, that sharam, that chijak, mm. that reluctance, you know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, is it like, I just want to know that, is it a universal thing that any woman or a person who is in that situation feels? Or I would look at it as a very culturally restricted... Um, I don't know that I could make that distinction. I mean, I... I, I keep my eyes open. Mm. Like, that's mm. how I learn languages mm. and it's how like, I... Can you imagine like an, an American the, human doing that? I feel like if it was a stranger, there mm. even if it wasn't with the dopata, there's, the, would be that. There, there's something about being face to face with a, a stranger in that way. Like I, st- I feel like there's right, that... Right, right. It's not in the same exact like movements, yeah. but there would be that kind of like... Yeah. What the heck is yeah. this person doing here? And Sabha has also interpreted it really brilliantly. Like, it's not yeah. your standard OTT type but on the note. But we talked about but, this, yeah, exactly, you know. Like, yeah. we, we worked on all of this body language. We right, worked on right, it, you like, know, that like, it was not about... It, yeah. it couldn't be... No, it's this. not like... Uh, yeah, and she's yeah. not, like, shivering and she's right, not... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, we, we, we specifically made it that made we it can't do yeah. that over. We yeah. have to just have this really subtle. Uh, she gave it that right amount of that and then, I mean, yeah. So, moving on to Mukhra. <laughs> I do want to, I think I have footage of that that I would really want to use in this. Okay. That whole day when yeah. it was you and Hamza. Yes. And we, I mean, it was like a proper shoot. Yeah. We shot the whole song. Yeah. Without <laughs> Sabah because she was so tired and yeah. I, I knew that you know, she has to be on camera mm. and that whole journey all the way, it took yeah. more than an hour to get there. Right? About an hour and a half, I think. Hour and a half. Yeah, a so way. that whole day of just shooting the song and even my, my steady cam guy, you know, he was like, why didn't we get her? You're making me shoot the whole song that you're not going to use. I was like, but no, Jillian wants to make sure that, you know, because that camera is just gliding and running and, you yeah. know, we don't know. So, yeah. Kunya, the ethos, first of all, it's a, and everybody's like, they understand the whole yin yang, the, the, the prey and the hunter thing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And that is, I think, the whole creative uh, ownership of that I'll give you because I did give you like say an idea what the scene and the dialogue mm-hmm. but then I didn't know that you would literally turn it into like a, a, a hunt <laughs> <laughs> I told her that you know metaphorically it's a hunt but they're like oh she gave me a hunt <laughs> <laughs> I know and I think that was it was funny because when I showed it to you and you were mm. just like Oh, it's a hunt. I was just like, well, you asked me for one. <laughs> that was meant to be like the idea behind it. But no, I was completely blown away by that uh, the demo or like the initial sketch that you had yeah. done. So. Yeah. I mean, were you being lazy? You were like, I'm not going to <laughs> reinterpret. I'll just give him a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I just, I don't know that I... Maybe I just didn't understand that it was about reinterpreting. <laughs> I just, you know, you said hunt and I was like, cool, hunt. <laughs> But I think basically one of the things that you told me is that we don't know at this point if Amaltas is trustworthy or not. Right, agree. And he that, needs to have the dangerous... Yes, exactly. That, that there needed to be some aspect that was confusing between is this a real 
dangerous situation or is it not right you know right. like in right. the the trope it's always clear that it's fun and games yeah. right yeah. but you wanted that danger mm. and for mm. me the only way to make it partially dangerous was literally to have him almost hunter hunter right, you know right. and um and to have that that it is a sense of you know there is some fun to it mm. but you're not quite sure sometimes mm. you know i remember in the very first sketch and it was you yourself we had not um included sabha you know yeah. that little crouch yeah behind the those weird roots you know yeah. like and and by that time i was absolutely sure we had marked the location we had mm. done like you know a 360 yeah. whatever reference for you yeah and that crouch how it translated like really like spot on the mm. same way yeah. how you had imagined it yeah. like and how sabha does it and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's such a you know like when you look at it it's almost like say in 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 a pakistani or a subcontinental sort of you know context it's a very odd posture for a woman to you know to be seen on camera mm. in okay. you know like i mean like yeah. look at her body like it's it's almost like a weird squat and then <laughs> yeah. she's crouching yeah. and you know like one of her knees go and it's it's identical to the the, the first so time you showed it to me yeah yeah i mean and kudos to saba no no i mean she for, absorbed for really it really being you know and she and she was so open in rehearsals mm-hmm. to everything we were doing you mm-hmm. know which is which is really as a choreographer it's a joy to work with yeah, someone who's yeah, like cool yeah. you tell me what to do and yeah. and i'll be there for it yeah. um but yeah i mean that's but that's something that i would not get you mm. know like because mm. i wouldn't necessarily think of like this is not a position to be on no, on camera no yeah i mean it's and you know with what she's wearing like i mean they're not used to say seeing uh, the the leading character or who's a woman right. and, like just running around in joggers for example right. they'd be like no why isn't she wearing pretty shoes right. like why isn't she yeah. wearing her heels but we were why not letting her do that <laughs> no, no. without joggers no. you know <laughs> just like i was like that's what she's doing there there are joggers in this scene and then the switch I mean yeah. so that was like a beat that we had that yeah. you know during the song but you know just coming up with the like that for me <laughs> is and you know like old school people mm. and uh, I don't e daddy abba he said and he was like the thing that sabha does with her shoulders like that's just like you know he said I didn't understand it initially uh when you know like when Hamza is doing it and then yeah. she's mirroring he really does it and you know like everybody gets it yeah But yeah. like, I'm just saying. But it only it, the only reason you get it is because Hamza does it in the beginning. In the beginning, right? Right. right Otherwise, right, it right, wouldn't make any right, sense. Right, and right. for me, it's that it's it's like the both of them do it a little over what I maybe you had I had imagined. Right. Right. Imagine, right. Because right, right. for me, it's that subtle. It's like the twitch right before mm. the hunt. You know, like almost before you're about ah, to pounce, basically. Ah. You know, it's like that. It's a fake out. You know. Right. A bluff, right. really. Like. I see that. not like um in a, in a, in a in a defense kind of a way but I would say that you know because the camera is so up close particularly for that sabha shot yeah. when she does it so yeah. I think it becomes more exaggerated when you're so close yeah because yeah. in a in longer shot it doesn't seem more mm-hmm. so in 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 say according to the theory of movement and you know dance and what metaphors and symbols so this move I mean I didn't know I mean it signifies all that it signifies mm. but you know it, anything about the origin of this move like No so for me it really was very much in that like if you're you know facing off with someone and you're trying to say who's mm. going to go first like mm. you have these little micro movements right right that right. are kind of to see who's going to move who's mm. going to go mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. who's reaching for the gun first basically right. it's right. this kind of right. thing um right. so it's it's less of a shoulder and it's mm. more of that you know who's going first and so when hamza does it and she replies it's like that it's she's giving ground mm. at the beginning and then she takes the ground later so it's it's for me it's it's less about the actual shoulders and mm. it's more about that sharpness of it right like, you know right. Oh, and then I mean, even if it's just running and climbing the, you know, the <laughs> the, the cliff, and then Sabah getting on that big rock, and then like you know, I think it was just, it was just too good to be true. And I think <laughs> when we did the that one day with you, and then yeah. Sabah, I think when she came, we didn't retake a lot of it. I mean, no, it was only it was, because the camera was. Yeah. I mean, But it, that's exactly why we did the the extra day extra with me, day, is right, so that right. we could just put. 
basically the equation was ready and we just plugged Saba right. in. Right. And know. we needed to time that, you know, because how fast Hamza needed to run and then climb yeah. because he does in the same shot. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. climbs all the way up all to the... the, way the up. I yeah, mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's not a cliff cliff. It's, it's pretty much like a little mountain. Yeah, right yeah. No, it's significant. Yeah. And um, so, no, and with Mukra, I think it's also such an interesting statement on bigger and important ideas like gender, for example. Mm. I feel like, you mm. know, how the swap happens and yeah. how then the whole mirroring that weird sense of unison that, you know, oh, it's two humans and yeah. they will get to decide yeah. what the dynamic is going to be. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. um, and even though, you know, like after she kind of takes control of the chase, you know, she, she at that moment com has complete control. Like I think there's the, the moment where she, he's up on the mountain and she's down and she just goes. That's my favorite you know, shot so of like, Sabah's, by I the way. Yeah. I really <laughs> love that. And that is where, you know, like it really takes an actor with that understanding. Yeah. Because that little, like it's, it, that's so subtle. Yeah. But uh, it just makes all the difference, you know. Yeah. That's when, yeah. and for me, that is such a, an important beat in Hina's trajectory. Yeah. That, you know, now she is. She, no, she you know, knows that she's in control. She's really. in control. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah, good memories. And I did not... Great memories. And you know what's funny is that, yeah. like, uh, it's just a matter of, of me understanding what I was doing and who I was working with. I had no idea it was sung by Atif Aslam until it came uh, out, the teasers, and I... Did we do, like, a placeholder? I don't no, remember. No, 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 it was Atif. But, but no, this didn't... is a new version. Atif did the final recording later. Okay, yes, okay. we had, like, a... It was a just a... Like, scratch track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Scratch but track. I just, when it came out, I was just like, oh... <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's Bulle Shah's poetry. I mean, that makes all the difference. I mean, that line um, says, Bulle Shah sa marna nahi, mar jave koi hor. Yes. Like, for me, that's also, I mean, it's a big hint at what the story is about. Yeah. Like, and this, that will, that mm -hmm. determination to, yes. I will live. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. I want to live. Yeah. Moving to. <laughs> okay, Ag, okay, yes, 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 the next one, oof. Yes. Ag, which is, I think, that's where, now, now I can connect, so it's a bit, I mean, it, at least in the same territory as Bhangra. Yeah. But Shadi dancing, yeah. wedding dancing, yeah. and so, like... A, I mean, like, I had danced at a couple weddings mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. um, and I'd, I'd learned a little wee bit of mm -hmm. Bollywood, and I'd done my Bhangra, mm -hmm. and so, so I wasn't coming into it completely blind. Right. But, um, you know, I, I honestly, like, I, I think that this was maybe the one that I least remember, to be honest, choreographing. Um, maybe because it was the least complicated it in was the sense that it dance, was like, dance. it was in one spot. I didn't have to worry about trees <laughs> and jungles and, you know, yeah. it was just in one spot, you know, people moving, like, right. so I didn't, I have, it wasn't as anxious. <laughs> but they honest. too, Jillian, like, so uh, I remember... The, the lyric, yeah. first of all, defines what it, this is about, right? Yeah. This yeah. is about badass girls who are saying we'll set everything on fire. Sabnu la deyan, agni adiyo, heere jaya mein, nagni adiyo, lave te koi, hatsni adiyo, pa deyan onu, natni. Like, I mean, it's just this, like, beautiful uh, celebration of yeah. the feminine spirit and the energy and, I mean, all... Uh, Kudos to Anjom for writing it and yeah, yeah. Zulfikar Sahib composed it. Yeah. But you understanding that, okay, these moves cannot be like, you know, those, honestly, the tropes of shadi dancing mm. also, you know, they're almost yeah. like well, especially silly if, and boring. Especially if women are dancing. Mm. Then there's a certain, like, there's a certain aesthetic, a certain vocabulary that, mm. that you kind of have to fix on um, that, that I don't particularly like doing myself. So mm. I was like, I'm not going to choreograph no, these are also like big, interesting yeah. moves, like so, arms and legs and yeah. like, you know, the, the <laughs> whole swing of the whole... I, there was a thing, there was a thing. There was a lot of these that I, I think this, the, the all of the body rhythm, mm. you know, these came from this, that pride, the pride basically. Right, right. It's that, you know, I am here and I'm, you know, and so that... 
sense of it, all of those, you know, the body rhythm. I yeah. really, a lot of the biggest movements were based on that, you know, right, the, right. The, you know, pushing the body. And that also, again, that song has so many contours. Like, it goes from there to this section yeah. where yeah. Inna has this seething, not even almost, like, actually very painful moment. Because yeah. that poetry yeah. is all about loss and, you know, yeah. how her desire is... The flames are just going yeah, crazy, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And even that moment, I remember that you know how we decided that Hina cannot again join the gang and turn yeah. it into a filmy number. Right, Her right, energy right. level is going to be different when. Yeah, she... we worked a lot on that section because, like, you know, uh, when when it's it's a solo, mm. you know, but you were really adamant that it can't be a filmy solo. It has yeah. to be something else. I don't remember if in the beginning. Um, Iman was there or not, but we added Iman her Iman came in later, but oh. for a day or two, yeah. tops. Yeah. No, but I'm, that the duet, when they were dancing duet, together. Um, I don't know, I, I was forgotten. We, I don't know, like, we, we brought we, that in. How did yeah. we sketch it? Yeah. I don't know, yeah, yeah, I don't remember. But at some point, I think we had maybe felt that Hina couldn't be alone at that alone point. At that so point, we brought yeah. in, you know, Nori to be her partner. partner. And then yeah. she, you know, And then she kind of... Scoot it off and yeah. stood with that pillar, and, yeah. that, and that's the only lip sync moment in the whole film. Yeah, yeah on yeah. any song. Yeah, and I uh, just uh, I was reminded of this by one of the girls. I think Nida at the premiere. She was saying when they were learning it, you know, I had it in my mind as very strong, basically. Mm. And, no, and, they, and they were very bangra at the beginning, and I said, no, 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 keep it normal, straight, yeah. normal, strong, yeah. you know, yeah. no... Yeah, despite being like, say, loud, big <laughs> movements, they don't come across as harsh. They're not hard-looking uh, movements, you But know? I didn't want that extra style, you know, right, just like, right. keep it the way they're, you know... Yeah, no, Nida, Talia, uh, Mirab, and uh, Hira... And Zoe, mm. and how quickly Zoe picked the step, and yeah, then yeah. she did it with the girls. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm really uh, pleased with both the track and how it is, and also, I mean, uh, there's so much happening within the song. Yeah. Like it's also not like a dance number. Right. Like, you know, yeah, you're yeah. not just cutting to girls dancing. Yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes it's completely in the background. Right. Yeah. There's a little bit with the flute. I mean, a little that bit. Is yeah. Such an endearing moment for me, and Hira looks so beautiful on yeah, camera, she does, and. She does. Um, the steam, the fire, yes. Nana, <laughs> the caves. Potentially my favorite. I don't know. The caves. Yeah. Potentially my favorite. Yeah, somebody wrote in a review. They said the the first half of the film is ridiculously steamy, <laughs> and I think Nana really defines that because. Right. So. But with it's... Nana, I mean, that's I, I let you tell what you thought about it. No, I was just saying that, like, you know, it is steamy, but it's not, like, it's all subtle. Like, it, it there's, is. there's is nothing it? in that, like, super sexy, no, steamy, yeah. you know? No, it's just, yeah. but there's, it's the intensity of it mm, that mm, I think mm. makes, you know, there, it's, it's intimate, but it's not, mm. like, for me, it's not seductive. Yeah. I don't for know. For me, it's almost sense. like, yeah, I mean, this, the, say, there is a fair amount of stillness to it. Yes. You know, the camera yeah. moves much more yeah, than yeah. it does in uh, Pani. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but their moves are really like small moves. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like almost like walking. And I remember yeah. that, you know, <laughs> my insistence on how do we make it look accident? How do we yes. make it look incident? Yes. That, you know, this yeah, is just yeah. not a dance, but yeah. this waltz <laughs> that kind of, you know, just emerges out of it. It's. Yeah. High five for that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I spent a lot of time with Nana trying to figure out how much movement I could put into it mm. and how much I couldn't, mm. you know, because I, I knew that it wasn't supposed to look like a dance, but yet it was also the one that could be a dance, yeah, you know. Right, and so right, right. I found, like, a lot of times I was very confused as to t should I take it in a dance mm. direction or should I not, you know. And so... Sometimes, you know, the tangos, basically, which you don't see a lot, but right, you just right. see the steppings where they're kind of moving together. Right, right. You know, that's maybe the most dance part right, of it. Right, yeah. right. And um, even there, you bring in 
the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the, Fix the yeah. The I, don't, thing. I don't remember where that came from, to be honest. I think there came a point. It came out of my anxiety that you know, oh, this can look very dance-like. So how do we dishevel it? Mm. But then also, I mean, just the whole. you know the 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 swiftness to it and the take that's in the film it actually hits hamza quite like badly on his shoulder because there's a <laughs> twitch in his body and one oh. can see because they're almost in a silhouette at that point mm-hmm. but i can see that you know it h- hits hamza on his left shoulder yeah. and uh, but i mean also just that movement when saba picks it yeah. and just understanding that it's almost like a uh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's it's quite beautiful. I still feel that it's, you know. It's quite an interesting one. Yeah, I think my favorite moment of the of the song is when they're walking around the fire, and it's almost like the beginning of Mukra mm. again because mm. they started in the circling, but then she stops him. That right, you know, right, like right. because it's a different situation. They've mm. come to a different yeah. point. So she says this time. No, no. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you, and also yeah. like how the pace is now defined. That you know, we'll go ahead with whatever we want to do, but yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. let's take it slow. Like you know, there's a little thing um, back yeah. to it. Yeah, no, Nana um, is everything. I feel when it comes to defining and actually solidifying what Amal Das and Hina are about. Mm. You know, this. You yeah. know this open declaration that you know, yeah. but done with again. I think all the grace that Saba could bring to it, yeah. and Hamza brings that, you know, that restrained, quiet yeah, yeah, yeah. charm, which is so like, mm. you know, it's so difficult to to not be charmed by that. Yeah, yeah. The mountains. Well, Gosh, koi jaane. Now the flying. Yes. The air. Now the, the now we come to the air. I think Kash was. perhaps the hardest one oh. just because it was in three locations yes shooting wise it was the toughest and also um i wasn't working on the track right that yes was, i remember gosh uh, yeah, wasn't was, ready until very late yeah, yeah and so most of what i made was off the reference, reference track reference right right um right. and so yeah you know i i think it was just difficult for me to visualize you know mm. like i think trying to it's a long song as well it's a long song yeah. and now you've seen the edit that is why it has almost become like a song and a montage which is still taking the story forward we yeah. keep cutting to sania yeah yeah and uh, we keep cutting to azina then malik nadir yeah, yeah. yeah yeah and so it's a long song and i think just trying to find that authenticity the authentic movement that expressed you know the 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 freedom but without getting bored and without mm. losing its way you mm. know like i i struggled a lot with it mm. to figure you just what do they do for 5 minutes they're not they're not supposed to dance but what do they do how do mm. how do they express this and so that's i think that's part of where i came up with throwing the rocks you know <laughs> just like what you know like when you're having fun you're just yeah. out you know hanging out on a fun day and there's a cliff like of course you're going to throw a rock oh, off of it you know like Who would not? Who would not? <laughs> <laughs> and then you know there's nobody there, you know. Yeah. So yeah. you're not worried if it's going to. Yeah. Happen. So I think that it was. Although there. our camera was right there, every yeah. time they would throw rocks, I was like, no, the camera is on this <laughs> contraption, and it's almost like you know going down. And I was like, what if a stone just hits the lens? Once they ever know, they were both very careful. Yeah. But I think I had a. Uh, Out of my heart, just palpitating on that front. Yeah, that, you know? yeah, and then, but then, you know, even from that part, then we, you know, the second section, they were just coming through the water. I think they were running, and yeah, then the, and yeah, then the, 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 and then the rain, and then the rain, right? And then even in the hut, you mm. know, the towel and the. The apple, right? Like the the <laughs> apple falling outside. Like I feel like it, at the start it was a joke, and then it, I know, and I, then it came in the film. You know, I know. I remember. I was like, okay, what are they doing? What are they doing in the hut? I was like, okay, no, it can't be like you know she ruffles his hair or dries his hair, and then they just stare at each other. No, that's not the moment we want. So just make it like you know. real and that's where the apple came from but the think, apple right? appeared and then but then not only did the apple appear but then 
I feel like it might have just been that we were playing around with it and, and I or somebody actually dropped it. Dropped it, yeah. And then went after it and then we were just like, what if they I did remember. that? I <laughs> remember, yes, 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 yes. You know, yes, they are yes. just like, what if they actually did that? And, yeah, and then yeah, you had yeah. to go out in the yeah, rain and wash, wash it off. Wash it yeah. off, yeah. You know, so it was one of those yeah. happy accidents. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I mean, <laughs> an apple has quite a historical, biblical, yeah. <laughs> scientific, uh, value to it so yeah. I feel uh, that Apple really does the trick my, one of my editors Sime I kept telling him I was like uh, so you know when she drops the apple stay with her like you know because we cut to the outside of the hut and he was like what apple I was like you can't you see that he's like I can't because you know we're shooting uh, when we were editing it we had scaled it down mm. it was a very low res version of the files because you know it's <laughs> too heavy otherwise so then uh, he almost had his Aha, uh -huh, apple falling on his head. And he's like, I finally seen the apple now, that apple that you kept talking about. I was like, yeah. Manika, she, she misses it, and then she picks it, and then she washes it, and then she's eating it. But you know, how could you miss the apple? And now, uh, Jillian, people just think that, okay, dance is all about, oh, there is a rhythm, there's a beat, and people will just do, you know, some moves. There would be like a, you know, like how you have a, hook line, you have like, what do you right. call that, like recurring, like, dance step, like a... They call it something here, I don't remember what it is. Right, you know, like, yeah, it's signature a to a... Signature, I think it's a, a signature step. A hook step or a signature, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. so, but yeah. here, I mean, how we strayed away from that, how yeah. we stayed true to what it was, but then, that sequence, yeah. that big... I still feel, I, I don't know, like, there are very few things that, you know, one can dissociate one's own self from mm -hmm. and uh, that scene for me you know because every time the film is playing I'm like okay I know what's going to happen and it gives me anxiety but you know but that scene completely like you know it entrances me that mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like something that I witnessed when it was happening or I yeah. shot it you know it yeah. really takes over how Sanya and Sabah are yeah. you know the scene yeah. when she hits her and um, just for people who are watching this I want them to know that that's also choreographed cool. all choreographed. movement yeah yeah but I think that basically for that particular scene, you know, because it was so intense and it had to be because she mm. had to have the bruises. Bruises. Really. Um, and Sanya had like about 41 pages of monologue. <laughs> yeah, monologuing, you know, text. And so it was, but you know, it had to be choreographed so that both of them would be safe, really. Right, you right. know, like we couldn't just have it be random and it couldn't be... Because it would, it, you know, you lose the authenticness, mm. and but you also lose the safety of it, right? Of course, of course. And of course. so the choreography was there to ensure that that it was safe, mm. but that it also looked authentic. It's mm. funny that it had to be not real yeah, in order to a, make she it. She can't look see, real. Yeah. and it's really like you know, yeah. it needs to be very haphazard, like right. you know, like but yeah. and we know it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, you know, and so it, 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 that was just purely technical. It was figuring right, out how, right. how, you know, a blind person can you know, beat the crap out of, you know, yeah, someone yeah, else. Yeah, as, yeah, as someone yeah. as, as young and strong yeah. as, as someone, yeah, right? So, yeah. um, you know, I think it was just technically, you know, and then breaking up the monologue in a way that kept the scene yeah, flowing, but right. also kept the action throughout. It is perhaps yeah. the longest scene in the film. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then so many beats, like Nimra yeah. comes, they have a conversation, then Nimra leaves, then yeah. Sabah and Sanya have this conversation, yeah. and then that happens, and then Sanya has a complete flip. Yeah. You know, so like, yeah. I think it yeah. was also like one of the most uh, challenging scenes for the actors. Yeah. You know, yeah. because, but. And, and, and emotionally as well. Emotionally, yeah. I yeah. remember I was on, I, I, they, yeah. I, they brought me to set for that, for yeah. that day so yeah. I could be there and work. And I, think I can ever thank Sabah enough because I was like, okay, sure, Jillian has figured a way where, you know, it could look like that you're slapped, but we can, you know, she doesn't need to slap you, but it didn't look right on camera, so that those first few slaps are real, real slaps, yeah. and, you know, like, particularly the one on the neck mm -hmm. and then the one here, yeah, yeah. and um, she took it, mm -hmm. she took it like a brave, like, valiant I mean, human, took you know. the whole project like a champ, yeah. like, yeah. She really was there for yeah. it. Yeah. But Jillian, what a journey. I think it just like, I think more than the film now, I just feel that the journey of making it, the process of making mm -hmm. it, 
is finding people like you to collaborate with i think it's it's just like it's so precious for me Thank and you so much. it is so beautiful that how all of us just had that clean intention that we need to make this happen yeah. like whatever it takes you yeah. know the the, yeah. the terrain was rough the the budget was not fancy yeah. the, the weather was like excruciatingly cold and then um but you made it happen my team made it happen and i can never i i think express the, the actual amount of gratitude that i have but thank you thank <laughs> you for having me what a wonderful opportunity thank, i thank, learned so much thank you thank you julian <laughs>